Hey everyone, wanted to give you a quick reminder. Shirts, there's shirts on sale. Um, all right, let's go back. All right, we're here with Masterpiece Variator. Uh, this is the version of Gears from our favorite company, Fans Toys. Uh, give me a second here, let me blush this up a bit. All right, so thanks to Toy Dojo, who's also in the chat right now for sending this over right quick, directly to me. But let's go ahead and get started with packaging review. So first up, um, we got the nice artwork by IO Labs. We got the video instructions. If you're taking a look at that, um, I, I would advise that the video instructions um, are mess, missing some things in there. So... Uh, nothing huge, but they are a little bit weird. Uh, the variator side, side, alt mode, artwork on the bottom. And then on the back is where we get all the fun stuff. All of the um, product images with his brethren, Fans Toys brethren, the bio as well. Um, I'm not going to read that out to you. If you want to read that, you can either read your own. But uh, he's apparently a sourpuss. So uh, you can see him with his accessories and his articulation he has kind of a crazy ab thing going on which we'll look at made by fans toys this guy retails for 120 dollars us so enjoy these lower prices while you can because uh the higher prices are coming all right out of the packaging we have the instructions oops sorry i forgot the little baggie with a stack card as well the plastic stack card Same stuff that we just saw on the back with the instruction with the um, bio. He does have instructions. This guy is actually quite simple to transform. Pretty enjoyable. I did like it. Uh, there are a couple of areas where I don't get it, and then uh, I'll show you this off uh, in a bit. But my uh, attachment here, this whatever welding tool thing, does not fit on his right arm at all. Like. Not at all, even if I try to brute force it. And I've been working out, and uh, it still can't work. But it does work on the left arm, so it's something. So, nice embossed styrofoam packaging. Not eco-friendly at all, but it's, it's fans' toys. They don't care about the earth or you. A little bit of piece of plastic to keep the paint nice and protected. We do have him in sort of robot mode. We also have... His accessories, uh, very quickly while I get organized a bit, uh, just a quick reminder, I do have a live poll going um, right now, and as well as a, a Q&A. So if you're in the live stream, there's a little Q&A section. Because it's hard for me to review as well as keep up with the live chat, especially when we when it's fans toys, we got already 75 people in here. It's fast and furious. I can't keep up with it all. But if you have questions that you desperately want answered, I do take time uh, during some of the logical breaks after transformation and so forth to try to answer questions. So make sure to do that or I might not catch it. Yeah, I am weird. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, the res resolution is stuck at 720. That's YouTube's limit, unfortunately. So, all right. So now that we have all the accessories out, let's just do a pan down and I'll show them to you. So he comes with two guns here, which can plug together. Kind of like a human centipede style. Uh, it's not great because you can see it's splitting. So just be careful with that. It likes to split on itself. It has a double handle. It's nice metallic blue paint. Or you can use that as two separate guns. Oh, sorry. Uh, I don't know why his hands are not out. But we'll get to that actually. All right, so the faces, including the one that he has stock, which is kind of a, a straight face, he has a bunch of other faces, six in total. So he has one that's kind of screaming, uh, with like larger eyes. Then he has like a, almost like one of those uh, tragedy masks from if you're a theater person. Then he has a happier face with the smaller eyes. Then he has a straight face, kind of mean face with the larger eyes. And the last one is a smiling face with the smaller eyes. So you get uh, five faces 
six spaces uh, total with the five replacements. All right, out of packaging, there are a couple things. Um, mine didn't come this way. I don't know why I, I transformed it this way, but we'll get the hands out and rotate it the correct way. Um, but out of packaging, he is obviously mistransformed. Uh, they usually do it out of some kind of reason for protection or something like that to make sure nothing breaks as far as tabs and so forth. But the things that we have here, the first thing that I noticed was that his armpits are untabbed. So you just want to pull that down and tab that in. There we go. The second thing on mine I noticed was that obviously his waist is rotated around. So we just want to rotate that around 180 degrees. The third thing you may or may not notice, uh, depending on how yours is packaged, is that these kneecaps um, may not be completely locked in. So they're kind of weird on how they work. Uh, you can see how it juts out. So you want to get it down like that, closed up, and then tabbed in on both sides as ne nicely as possible. And then the last thing that I noticed on mine, which wasn't on the video instructions, um, the official ones, is that mine was transformed with his backpack mistransformed. This is like the alt mode orientation. What it's supposed to be is you pull this, pull this up. It untabs here and here. You want to actually want to flip this all the way around on itself. And you want to have these tabs facing outwards. And then you want this blue piece to flip underneath, which was the top of the cab. Uh, you want it downwards, but you want to make sure it sits flush with the bottom. So you have to do it that way. Um, if you mistransform it and this isn't lined up with the tabs going straight out and this isn't flush with the bottom here, it's not going to sit and tab in correctly on the backpack. So that reduces the thickness of his backpack a little bit. Uh, your head also may be tucked down. You can extend that or keep it down. It extends like maybe a millimeter or so. But with that, you have variator or gears in his robot mode and he looks so good so accurate uh the paint is mo he's mostly painted i don't think i feel like his his chest is not painted here like this red i think this is bare as far as i can tell it might be but i feel like it's not the thighs are definitely i think they're die these might be die cast um a lot of his shins and lower leg are, are die cast um i don't know if this is painted maybe but i'm not exactly sure uh the red's really hard to tell but the blue all this is uh the lower leg red is the thighs are obviously the face and so forth the only areas i'm not really sure of are the chest and then actually mostly just the chest i think has some translucent blue details here which really look nice it's kind of weird he has kind of these weird eye looking things here though i don't know what's going on with that but it kind of looks like he has eyes uh yeah i'm not really sure but he cleans up really well very nice small backpack he has his little bit of his rubber wheels showing out back here but he looks really really nice all right uh what else can we talk about his weight because everybody wants to know the weight of fans toys figures they're all always quite hefty, especially for their size. And this guy is no different. So Gears is exactly six ounces, which is 168 grams. Uh, in comparison to, let's say, I don't have another Gears. I, I sold my Bad Cube Grump a while ago. Um, so let's see. This guy's only 92 gram, oh, 90 grams. That's with his gun. Uh, 3.2 ounces so this guy is way more heavy he is a little bit taller but you can see how he looks there uh, since we already have some comparisons going on let me go ahead and show them off here he is next to their uh, brawn their other latest figure tube or pipes uh, here's next to a fembot carbot who else do we have? Um, MP44. You gotta always compare to that. Uh, so yeah, those are the only comparisons I'm gonna do for robot mode. 
uh, for right now. If you have any interest in anything else, let me know. I'll try to grab that um, for the end of the review. We always try to do some fan requests at the end. If I have them and it's convenient for me. So we'll take these out of the way. All right. And then we'll start going into the uh, accessories real quick. So the guns, the way they work, or they have the kind of a heel of the hand slots. So you can open up the hand here and peg it into the bottom of the palm. Like so. And you can curl the fingers up around that. These are kind of, an, honestly, kind of annoying to attach in, but um, this style. But they work really well. So once you get them in and seated, they do lock in quite nicely. Like so. And like I said before, you can also combine them together to have a double-handled gun. I'm not going to go through the trouble of posing it with both of them, but you kind of get the idea. The other accessory that we have is his, like I said, his little welding tool, I think. I don't even remember the episode. Uh, they say in the instructions you have to rotate the hand this way. You don't have to do that. It doesn't matter. It makes absolutely no difference. And it's, a lot, it's faster if you just go ahead and tuck that in. It has two tabs here. But like I said, for some reason, my right hand, no matter how hard I push, will not go in. So um, I don't know why I transformed the right hand. Well, let's go to the left hand because I know that one works. It is still very tight. Um, if you guys have this figure and you find that it is the same issue that you have, let me know. Um, maybe it's a molding issue, but you can see the left one does work. Uh, I had to work it quite hard to, to get it to work the first time, but this one, no matter how, how hard I try, I can't get it in at all. Like, yeah, it's not going in. And be very, very careful. This is die cast, and these are very, very sharp points. You can easily make somebody bleed with this including yourself. All right, so let me get the hands out real quick and we'll do the articulation. This guy does have a good amount of art articulation, not as much as um, some figures that we would expect, but he is kind of smaller, so we got to give him a little bit of leeway. Starting at the top, as I mentioned, he does have a little bit of an extension here and he has like a kind of a hidden um, neck joint, so it allows you to look up just a little bit but you basically get zero down. You can rotate around 360. Um, while we're up here, I guess we can show off how the head works. You can open the top of his head. You just pull forward. He just has a tab here and any of the other six faces. Let's go one with the mean face. Uh, it's easier to go ahead and close this up first and then push in like so. And you can see his mean face. Very easy to do that. Coming down to his shoulders, you can untab here to get his shoulders out like so. Or you can use this joint. You can rotate all the way around. These are all friction joints. Rotate at the bicep. Double jointed elbows. He has a wrist swivel. He has all four of his fingers molded as one piece and a, and a molded thumb, so no articulation there. He doesn't have a butterfly joint, so don't try that. Oh, thanks, Larkin, for the $4. I appreciate it. Let me know. Mean face or constipated? Uh, I'm usually pretty mean when I'm constipated, so it could be both. Larkin, if you have a comparison that you'd like to see, let me know, and uh, I'll, I'll be happy to oblige at the end of the review. So coming to his midsection, he has the 360 swivel. He also has an ab crunch, which can go down like this. He also has a weird kind of extending joint here. I don't really know what it's for aside from easing some of the transformation, but you can use that to get really weird poses that are disjointed. But really he has very close to a 90 degree uh, ab bend. It does lock into place here with this little tab and this little notch here. So it does secure. It's not ratcheted at all, but it does work quite well with the friction. His hip skirts are definitely going to annoy T-Man 978 because he has one giant front hip skirt that exposes all of his 
inner gears. He ha also has side ones that go out to the side. No butt flap. So that just means he has a forward about 90 degrees. You can hear that is ratcheted. Nicely ratcheted. You can go about this far back. Hey, how's it going, Anthony? Thank you for the $1.99. You know what time is it? Is Springer time? Comparison time? That's right. Springer. You got it. So going out to the side goes 90 degrees. He does have a hidden thigh swivel, which can go all the way around as long as you don't run into anything. Uh, TM Review says need to do out do Larkin compare comparing to Warthog for 501. I appreciate that so much. I'll do that. So don't let me forget. Uh, let's see here. His knees are friction, and they can go a little bit beyond 90 degrees here. And then coming down to his foot, is it is where it's most limited. Uh, so a lot of his foot here, all, the only thing he can do is ankle tilt inwards. He can't ankle tilt outwards. He has no forward or back on here due to the way the transformation works. So unfortunately, there's nothing else besides ankle tilt. So limited there. But he does have a d decent amount of articulation for much, such a small bot. I will say the thing that's best about him besides his robot mode is his transformation. It is pretty easy. I know uh, we've come to dread at some point whether this is going to be a, a fun fan toys transformation or uh, an arduous one. This one is quite nice. So uh, before I go into transformation, let me take a quick pause and try to answer any questions that we have so far. And then we'll go into transformation. So give me a second here. All right, um, let's see, Q&A. Uh, <laughs> I still function as Pepsi or Coke. Uh, I grew up with Pepsi. I will, I'll always be a Pepsi fan, even though I stopped drinking soda uh, about 20 years ago. Uh, the Titan asked, based on the poll question, is Pake doing mushrooms? Uh, yes, I love mushrooms. I just had some tonight. And then Lilyham asked, can you compare him with a hammer? And then destroy him with said hammer. I'm not going to do that. But thank you for the question. So those are the only questions we have so far. Again, if you're live with us, go ahead and drop your questions there. And I'll get to them when I can. All right. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. So the first thing we'll do, um, I'm going to do things a little bit out of order from how they do it. So I'm going to do the hands first. It's just, they're just easy. And I always like to start with the hands. So again, the official instructions say you have to rotate the hands in. It makes no difference. I'll do it for one side and not the other side. You just fold that in, close that up. And then we're going to actually double hinge it here. So it collapses somewhat, not a whole lot, but that's what you'll do. Same thing on this, this side. This time I won't rotate the hand. It makes absolutely no difference. It saves you a little bit of time. And then, then we'll double hinge that there like so. We'll also want to untab at the shoulders. Uh, th hey, Thangwin. I, I appreciate it. Always nice for correct, correctly picking Pepsi. Yes, that is right. Uh, untab these here. All right. All right. The next thing we'll do is... Uh, pull down on pull a forward on the chest piece and while we're here just you can extend it on this double hinge and rotate it around and fold it like that that just gets it ready uh, we're going to need that later and it's just easier to do then uh now oh i think i scratched the face somehow and then one other thing that we'll do once while we're here is go ahead and open up the head like this we're going to push this in and rotate this around and you'll see why we're just getting basically everything prepped so the face does tuck in a little bit to give you a little bit more space. Now we're going to come to the backpack here. We're going to pull up the same way we did before. We're going to reverse what we did out of packaging. So get this flipped all the way around. Get this tabbed in. Like so. These pieces that were tucked in will flip out. We're going to extend on this double joint here. And then we're going to bring out these side pieces, kind of obliques, rotate them around 180 degrees, and flip out this little piece on the front, this little blue piece here. All right. At this point, we're going to start working with the head section here. You want to tilt this whole kind of head and neck panel forward. It tabs in right there. You want to pull it forward, pull this 
centerpiece out and open this up. This will kind of form the front and the grill headlights and so forth, as you see here. And then we're going to go flip out the wheel. So at the front, we're just going to flip out one wheel and then the next. And then we can kind of flip these down. We're going to deal with the arm. Uh, actually, no. Um, this is really important. So this is on a double hinge here. You want to rotate this around first. So you can see how it's rotated here. You want to extend like this. Rotate it 180 like so. And now the, the, um, the front is oriented the correct way. And then you want to fold it flat so that this part becomes flush with the, uh, the hood here. While we're doing that, you can go ahead and tuck the head through so it pops out like this. And the reason why we opened up the head earlier is so that we can flip this all the way back now. And then you need to do that, otherwise you cannot close this section here and tab that down. All right, so that's what you needed to do there. Next up, we're gonna just tuck the forearms or the whole arms into the uh, front section here. All right, so we're gonna pull this down, rotate at the shoulders, and it is kind of a tight fit. Um, you might find this a little bit easier if we, we angle the forearms in first and then push down at the elbows, but you can do it either way, whichever way you feel most comfortable with. Again, just straighten this out, rotate at the shoulders, and just remember, you have to have these arms semi-collapsed here and get them rotated down. Again, I find it a bit easier because there is it is a tight space. I find it a little bit easier if we angle this side in first like this and then push in at this section here. Sorry, this this the headlights tend are, are, are held in with very small tabs so they don't hold in that tightly, so they kind of flop around. So once you're done with the arms getting in, then you can go ahead and tab this in. So hopefully they're not flopping around. These side sections that we've rotated around 180 and flipped out this little blue piece it has a small tab that will go on the front here. Uh, these pieces are, are a little floppy, so just try to align it as straight as possible. But they don't like lock. Um, this piece doesn't lock into place, so it tends to not be completely straight which makes getting it into this slot somewhat difficult. Hey, Paul Spurgeon, how's it going? Dr. Pepper rules? Pepsi drools? Dr. Pepper? Ugh. You're the type of person that probably likes, like, root beer. And if you're a person that likes root beer, you can, you can exit this live stream immediately. Oh, see? So, again, these tabs are kind of annoying in the sense that they're hard to get aligned and they come out very easily just because they're on a little floppy piece here. So, come on. But yeah, thanks for, that was a very generous $9.99. I appreciate it. Um, I've said this many times before. Don't feel the need that you have to, to, to donate. But if you want to, I'm not going to stop you. Uh, Monster, thank you so, so much. Literally, as I say this, uh, I do appreciate it. I will show my um, appreciation every single time, but don't feel the need to do that. I always joke that you had to donate $1.99 for a comparison. Um, I usually just do that just so people don't go kind of crazy. But for anybody who's don donated, let me know if there's any comparisons you want to see uh, in robot mode at the end. Sorry, getting distracted here. So that ends up finishing the, the front of the cab. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but these pieces also come up and tap into place. All right, now we're going to deal with the bottom, which is super easy. The instructions say go ahead and lock this whole section up, like rock it forward and lock this in first. There's some tabs here. Uh, I like actually like doing this later, and I'll show you why. All right, so the first thing we'll do at the back is we're going to take this little weird piece here and the inside, like kind of like the inside of his foot, rotate that 90 degrees out, and then you'll take his blue uh, bottom of his foot, rotate this around. Once you get it up to 90 degrees, you're going to rotate around. And then this is going to come around this way eventually. So, uh, And then once you have that done, you can rotate this in. The wheel comes out of the outside of the shin. You want to open that up, pull out the wheel itself. And once you get it here, this wheel 
is locked into place with this little notch up here. Uh, when I pull it out, it tends to auto-transform a bit, but you want to rotate this around this off-centered um, pin here. You want to rotate all the way around until it clips into place there. Then you just close back up the shin. Then you can close this tab into this section here. That's it for one foot. Same thing on the other side. You can actually do it either way. I mean, this might be a little bit easier to get the wheel out first and then rotate it around, lock it into place, close it up, open this red fl floppy piece, extend the heel, rotate it 90 degrees, come around to tab that in, and then flip this piece back in. All right, and then this last piece, you basically have the tab at the knees that you can tab both of these in. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is bend Oh, sorry, uh, make sure you untab these knee pieces before you bend. So if you remember, there's slight tabbing pieces here. So untab those. Come on. Okay. And so you want to make use of these double hinges at the knees. Wanna oh. You want to double hinge and get these knees back as far as you can here. So you can see how it's not back. You want to push back on that like so. There are tabs, which are kind of hard to see. Oh, here, here you go. This tab here goes into the back of his thigh. So I'm just I just have the door open just so you can see that lock in. But ideally, you would have it closed, and you can feel for that. So with that, you have the legs ready. And this is why I kind of saved this uh, section for last is I find that it's easier to kind of rotate this section up like this And there's a couple of tabs here. There's tabs at the top this little um, Indentation piece that sticks out on the blue here needs to tuck in here Oh, Make sure that these flaps don't fall down. They are kind of loose and then there's tabs down here so uh, you kind of want to do all that at once and I find it's a little bit easier if you work it with the, the hinge untabbed here. If you have this all kind of locked into place, you're a little bit more restricted. So I kind of like doing that. And you just give it a, a tight push. Remember, this is in. And you give it a push here, and it should all tab into place. There we go. We got one side. At the other side. There we go. I think we have everything. So again, this these two tabs here, they automatically basically align themselves. So it shouldn't be that much work to get that in. But just make sure everything is tabbed in. This looks like it's not completely tabbed in closed. And then lastly, you just come to the back here and then you flip up these kneecap tabs into these little gray sections here. And with that, you have gears or variator, however you pronounce it, in his nice and compact alt mode. And he is tiny. Um, he's very hefty for his size, very compact. Everything squishes down. They use up basically every ounce of space that you have in here. And it looks really nice. Um, very accurate, R rubber wheels. He rolls quite nicely. And because they're, they're treaded, you can hear them make a vroom sound, which is a bonus. To show you just how tiny he is, here he is in comparison with the original Masterpiece Bumblebee mold, which I have in alt mode. It's a lot shorter, considerably shorter, and it's a little bit wider, but not a lot, and it's a little bit taller. Next to Streak, a regular size car bot, you can see just how much longer a car bot is and how much wider it is. In terms of height, it is kind of tall, but it looks really good. This alt mode is really quite nice. Uh, again, I like the translucent with a metallic blue. The only thing that's weird again is I don't know what's going on with these like little eyes. They look like, I don't know, it almost looks like he's Tomator with eyes up here from cars. Uh, he does have translucent headlights here. The red bumper, this the kind of um, 
champagne-y instead of silver, kind of like pipes here with the champagne-y silver here on the grill. Uh, he does have nice chromed out pieces on the hubcaps. The back does look a little plain because it's all red here, but I don't know how accurate that is. But yeah, he looks quite nice. The accessories, the two guns, you can fold up the handles like so. They have these little hooky things here. And how that works is you can hook them into this part and this part. Looks kind of weird, but if you like weapon storage, you got it. Uh, as far as I know, you can't do anything with this thing here. Oh, actually, I don't know. Can you plug this in here? No, it cannot. So yeah, you, you can't do any welding in your alt mode. All right, seems like a lot of people are having fun in the chat while I'm not reading. Lightning McGears. <laughs> Reminds me of Kids Power Wheels. Kind of, yeah. Uh, I haven't said hi to a lot of folks, but uh, Travis White, I don't know if I've seen you in here before, Travis, but welcome. The Titan of regular, I still function in regular. Lily Ham, Shirokuro, one of my favorites, my workout buddy, enthusiast. We're in my Discord together, always talking about working out with uh, Grimlock. Larkin, a regular TM Reviews, one of my good buddies. He used that term, not me. Sean Moore, uh, who else do we have? TF Masterpiece, aka, oh, Dusty Shells. Yep, I always forget that he changed his name. Thang, another regular. La Monster. Uh, Paul Spurgeon, uh, there's a lot of other folks here. Dare 27, Halius, oh, I missed the Halius. Size comparison with a can of root beer, please. No, that's not going to happen. I do have a can, though. I drink sparkling water, so here he is with a can. And Lily Ham, I know you didn't donate, and you were joking about the hammer, but I do have a hammer here, so since we have it, we'll go ahead and do a uh, comparison with the hammer. All right, another quick stop at the questions see if there are any other questions here uh sean moore asks what is your most wanted undone fans toys mini bot i don't even know which mini bots are left uh i mean i definitely i do like this figure from bad cube but it is getting a little dated so i'm waiting for the remold here i don't even know what other mini bots are left to be perfectly honest uh, let's see, what other questions do we have? McLuthor G says, does he have the... Oh, chest gimmick. Oh, sorry, I didn't. Where where you open his chest and change his personality? Yeah, sorry about that. I, I didn't show that off, but I will show that off when we get back. My bad. Um, does Gears have the opening? Yep. Lilyham asked the same thing. Yeah, sorry about that. I, I, I totally spaced on that. Is that a visible gap between his legs or are they not tabbed in enough? So there is a visible gap here. Um, you can see there's completely tabbed. There is a visible gap here in alt mode. Uh, Anthony Brown said, wait. Anthony Brown says, I'm still here. I don't know what that means. That's not a question. Oh, Greg Williams says, uh, Bumblebee, Hubcap, Bumper, Wheelie. Oh, Wheelie. Yeah, I guess Wheelie is my, my most desired one because the one we got from X Transbots is not the greatest. Let me go back to why do I still have these. Uh, it's not the greatest, even with the many revisions that it has. I don't even know how they did. They did at least a version three. Uh, Warthog, Bubble Tea, one to one pick, and a can of root beer. So we're not going to do any of those. But yeah, probably Willy is the one that I I want the most, just to recreate my movie, my movie scene. So that's the only questions we have so far. I'll check again one last time at the end of the live chat. Let me also make sure that I didn't miss anybody with the fan funding. Uh, LaMonster, Halius, okay. Pulse per okay, I don't think I missed anyone. I'll oh, Keith Lee, I missed a Keith Lee. Always asking for the bubble tea, just because of my Asian. I don't, I don't have bubble tea on demand at my house. All right, so let's go back into uh, robot mode and we'll finish off the review. All right, and then I'll, I'll make sure to show off the chest thing. Like you can see it here but we'll show it off properly. All right, so to uh, transform this guy back, we do want to just basically undo these kneecap pieces here. We want to pull backwards on this piece. Basically unlock all the legs. We can straighten them out. 
Uh, at any point, you can really lock in these knees, so we'll just take care of that now. Separate the legs. We're gonna untab this section, bring this around. We're gonna open up this flap, fold in the sole of the foot, close this back up to kind of lock it in place. I do wish this was a little bit tighter. Open up the side of the leg. Remember, we need to rotate this whole piece around like so, to, so it uh, aligns here. We're gonna fold the wheel in. It is a little bit of a tight fit to get it in here. Um, I do find that it uh, collides a, a little bit here. So just give it a little bit of a push and get that tabbed in. That's one leg done. We'll repeat on the other side, untabbing the side of the, the truck bed. Rotate this 90 degrees like so. Open up this area at the bottom of the foot, put the blue, blue section in, and then rotate this back into lock into place. Open up the side of the leg, rotate the wheel, make sure it tabs in, fold this in, and then squeeze this in like so. Bottom is done. We can extend on the um, double hinge midsection by untabbing the chest. While we're here, we go ahead and rotate that around and flip it down like so. We'll go ahead and untab this section here on both sides. You can rotate these around 180, fold these blue pieces inward like so, not outward, so they shouldn't be facing out, they should be tucking in like so. Now we're gonna start working on the rest of this piece. So um, we'll go ahead and untab these side sections, open up the cab or the whatever these, this thing is, I guess the, uh, the roof. We're gonna start pulling this out. And then we'll deal with the arms. So you can move this out of the way, close this up. You can really do that at any point. We wanna pull out the hands. I find it a little bit tough to get to them, so I often rely on pulling out the, pulling out this uh, little panel here. Get this out and around. <coughs> Make sure at this point when you pull up on the hood, so it's like this, that will give you the room to rotate 180 degrees. And you need to make sure that when you fold it flat, that this, this uh, double hinge goes up to the top here, like so. And you wanna do that before you tuck in the wheels. Otherwise you're gonna get collisions and you're gonna be like, hey, why can't I rotate this? You wanna do that first before you get the wheels in. If you put the wheels in first, you're not gonna be able to um, position this correctly. Flip this in. This center piece, you wanna just put in like so. We're gonna bring this down and then we can get these side pieces tucked in like that. We can bring in the entire up, upper body like so. Rotate the head around. This should have closed, but if it was closed, open it up. Pull the face forward a little bit. Be careful because this does tend to pop. The face does tend to pop out pretty easily. Just close this out. This whole neck panel tabs down, and then this will come up and tab over top of it to lock it in place. We're gonna get these armpit tabs from the beginning tabbed down. Open up the Forearm panel, rotate out the fist. Come on. You know, the fist rotation is a little annoying and I don't know why this one doesn't want to open right now. Well, let's get to this side here. So this is the one that I didn't rotate like the instruction said and both of them were being a pretty annoying, but this one worked. There we go, finally. So if you rotated it, the, the fist, you gotta rotate it 90 degrees. All right, now we just have to deal with the backpack here. So again, making sure that these red tabs are open. If this is already flipped closed, just open it back up. 
I want to rotate this all the way around again so that these red tabs are facing the back and that the blue sits flush with, with the bottom here, like so. Flip these in. These two tabs go into these. There we go, and we have gears back in robot mode. To show off the chest piece, it does flip up, so you can see all the nice details in here that I missed before. Thanks for pointing that out. Uh, Lily, I think it was Lily Ham, and I forget who else it was, but there you go. It does have some painted details, so all this is painted, as well as the blue and green details here. Uh, Anthony said, what Jermaine said? What was that? Oh, talking about Toy, Toy Dojo. Yeah, they have a cool little box set um, with uh, unique artwork, I think. So, all right. We're back in robot mode. My final thoughts before we do just the, fan, the uh, comparisons I owe to the folks that, who donated. Um, I really like this figure. For 120 bucks. it is a little bit more on the expensive side, but I, I'm coming to accept that that's just the way it is going to be for a lot of figures, especially fans toys figures, which have always been at, at a premium, uh, which a lot of times is justified. I think it is justified on this figure. He feels really, really solid in both modes, really compact. He does have a lot of die cast in his thighs, his lower legs, especially. Um, and he look, he cleans up really well. Uh, usually gears is a, a figure. I don't care a mini buy. I care that much about. Um, I think he always looks a little derpy, but I think this one looks really great, and I don't know that um, I could have asked for much more. Uh, there are some minor things, like this little piece being a little um, flippy-floppy and uh, the slight gap that was pointed out in the alt mode. But there are super minor things. I think he's a really rock-solid choice um, if you're a fan toys collector. Um, he looks really good. I like that they gave him a decent amount of accessories, including a lot of the faces to change the personalities, as people had said before. Uh, oftentimes we don't get that with a lot of fan toys figures, so it's nice that we did get that with him. So no major complaints. If you guys can stomach the price tag, I, I would definitely recommend him. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and look at the poll really quickly. I asked, uh, and if you guys saw the thumbnail, I mimicked the, his pose to Mario's pose because this guy always reminds me just because the colors. Yeah, I know they're kind of swapped. He usually has red a red shirt and blue suspenders, but I always think it reminds me of Mario. Uh, apparently, 61% of you disagree with me and think I'm weird. That's okay. I've always thought of myself as weird. Uh, Q&A. Let's see here. Any remaining questions? Are the eyes metallic blue? So, Mr. Uh, BDI 1971 asks, are they metallic blue? They're more like, no, they're not metallic. They're like a, a sky blue. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Lily Ham says, not a question, but thank you for the hammer comparison. I've been wet wanting this for so long, <laughs> waiting for that for so long. No problem. Always happy to oblige. Brian says, I think those arms are going to get scratched. In, uh, no, I don't think so. Like I said, the, the easiest way to do it is to make sure you tuck in at an angle first. And then, so like when they're in here like this, you would get the arms in this angle down and then push down. Uh, I find that's the easiest way to do it, but I'm, I'm not too concerned. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of paint scratches or chips on this figure yet, except that one face that I showed, which I don't know what happened here, but it's okay. It's never, it's not going to be a face I'm going to use anyways. Um, I still function as are pop tarts ravioli. No, it's not a pasta. Why would, well, huh? I guess it is like a, oh, you know, I, I, I don't have the brain power to answer that question. I'll, I'll leave that to the rest of the folks. So that's it for the uh, Q&A. So I'm going to end that here. If you guys are catching it on the um, rewind, feel free to drop questions in the comment section. I always try to answer those as much as possible. But I do have some comparisons that I owe folks. If you guys don't want to see the comparisons, you're happy to, to head on out or hang out in the live chat while I do the comparisons that I owe folks. So let me grab some of them. Uh... 
I'm not keeping track of all the ones I owe, but I do know that I owe a Springer. It's always Springer for Anthony Brown. And here's Warthog. Uh, what were the other comparisons that people asked for? All right, let me let me look at the uh, the fan funding. What else? Uh, can of root beer, Hellius. I don't have root beer, but I did comparison compare with the, the can. We'll bring the hammer back out just for funsies. Uh, what else we got? Le Monster. Let me know if there was anything else. Uh, one to one comparison. <laughs> Parts form one to one comparison with Paik. Uh Here's my hand. I have a very small hand. Uh, bubble tea. I don't have any bubble tea. We got the Warthog. Uh, Larkin, I don't know if you asked for anything in particular. Uh, TM, you usually do a really good job of letting me know what I owe. So let me see. Cliff Jumper. All right, Greg wants to see Cliff Jumper. I'll try to do that. Who else do we have? Uh, I don't have. Oh, I do have DX9 Power Glide, don't I? Yeah, I do. Sorry, I do have DX9 Power Glide. DX9 Power Glide and Cliff Jumper. Cliff Jumper. Uh, who else do we have? <laughs> thanks. I just saw the thing said learn not to bash toys until they are sold out. Fans toys always sells out. Oh, sorry. I need to be scrolling up. Yeah, parkour is tiny. All right. I don't know. Uh, packet of ramen. All right. You guys are just getting weird. A roll of toilet paper. I'm trying to get to the people who actually donated first and I don't know that all of them I don't know if I got all of them uh, I'm trying to look for TM's chat because he does a usually a good job of summarizing but I can't I can't find it there's too many people in here so trying to go back and find them all is impossible all right uh Toyger says, says I think you got them all Bread box toaster, or is it OnlyFans? Yeah, OnlyFans, the only pakes. Uh, that that website is not up yet. Oh, I always try to do. Ah, I forgot. I always try to show that he does fit in here. I tested that before, but I always forget. I'm super forgetful. But thank you for the hundred plus of folks. Cosmos comp. Uh, I don't. I don't know if I have a Cosmos. I do. I do. I only have the MMC one though. Or Ocular Max, if you want to be more accurate. So, do we really need two Paraglides in here? What's going on here? Uh, here, just because I've had him on the floor for ever since the official one came out, we'll just do a comparison with the Fans Toys Skyfire. Oh, wait, wait, I can't scroll up too much because I, I, I'm going to miss the hammer. Well, well, we'll just pan for a bit. Uh, who else do I have? You know, you know, let's go, let's go crazy. We'll have a Megatron in here. Uh, we got a Legend Scale, Magic Square. Let's throw a a Goku Black. Uh, Mini Optimus Prime. A Fans Toys tape. Uh, a Legends Wheelie, the Spike, um, another Spike. Uh, he's not gonna stand up, he never stands up. All right, so I think this is oh, the mini, yeah, I did the mini optimistic, not like that came with the arc. Oh, oh man. Uh, 
I don't know where I don't know where the mini Optimus Prime with the arc is. I think he's with my micro machine stuff. So this should be more than enough comparisons uh, to to uh, satisfy most folks, even the unreasonable ones. But this is it for today. Hope you hopefully you guys enjoyed the live stream. Uh, I really appreciated. Wow, uh, the hundred plus people that were here at some point. Uh, appreciate the 54 likes. That's a really great conversion for me. So if you like the video, please let me know um, by giving me a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, that's fine too. Give me a thumbs down, but at least leave a comment letting me know what you didn't like. If you didn't like my comparisons, you didn't like my jokes, you didn't like my accent, you didn't like my hand comparison size, whatever it is, let me know. Um, but I'll be back later this week. Um, I got a bunch of stuff that I need to review and still getting caught up on. But Saturday, I will be doing the Chatter Day. So if you don't know what Chatter Day is, that's my live stream kind of podcast where I have members of the community. Anybody who is a viewer of mine who has any interest in talking about generic topics. So we're doing a G1 uh, cartoon discussion. We're going to have like six people on. A lot of people that are already in the chat like Anthony Brown, Shiro Crow. Uh, I think we're going to have Robot Show Tunes, Ridiculous Badger, a bunch of folks. We're just going to have a, a bunch of uh, people talking. I do a bunch of different segments there that are usually pretty fun. So uh, that will be sad. every third Saturday um, of, uh, at 9 o'clock. That's when we do Chatter Day. I'll also be back later this month with Transformers Jeopardy, which uh, is always a fan favorite. So if you haven't checked that out, I've already done, I think, like five or six episodes of Jeopardy. Check that out in my channel. Uh, that's always fun. And again, for those who are interested in becoming part of the Chatter Day or Jeopardy, um, it's open to anyone, really. So if you want to get involved, just go ahead and click on the Discord link below to get to my Discord server. We don't have a whole bunch of people in there. At some point, we had almost like 200, but I think we're down to like 50 or something now. But in any case, it's a nice, cool, cool group just to hang out with. So um, yeah, check us out there. That's going to be it for our Wednesday night reviews. Thanks a lot to everyone. I hope you have a good one. Thanks a lot for, for lifers.